In this video, the Bitcoin price is in a sharp downtrend. Well, I'm going to show you something that you need to know about in the chart. And I'm also going to show you exactly what my next trade is over on Bybit for Bitcoin. With my trade signals here, people have been making significant gains like Gabriel here. He made 40% gains from shorting the Bitcoin price according to my breakout analysis. And this guy made $1,000 from the live stream that I made earlier today. Below this video, I can find hundreds and hundreds of these comments. Thank you so much for the support. And if you also want to trade Bitcoin, go down below this video and claim this new massive $600 bonus on Bybit. The only thing you need to do is click this link, sign up. It takes only 20 seconds and then you take this promo code jackpot and you paste this into the rewards hub on Bybit. In this video I'm going to show you exactly how you can do this. And what about Ethereum? Ethereum is currently also getting a correction here in the short term. The question is will this cup and handle play out like we've been talking about? Well if this plays out I'm going to show you that this is going to be the biggest Ethereum trade that we have ever made before. And if you think that that sounds interesting then I think you should definitely watch this video. Hello guys and welcome to the moon. My name is Carl and I'm going to bring you this cryptocurrency video and let's take a look at the fact that the Bitcoin price is right now falling and we are f falling within this descending channel or descending broadening wedge and I'm going to take a look at this in just a minute and once again guys thank you so much for reaching 200,000 subscribers mind blowing if you also want to make money like everyone else here just click subscribe and most importantly click this bell icon right there. But before I take a look at this and the fact that we might be seeing a bounce here, I want to go over to this chart and show you the fact that we were traveling within this upwards trending rising channel. And when we broke out here, I told you guys that this is time to pay attention because this could be the beginning of something bigger. Now, we can see that this definitely, definitely played out. We did see something huge happen. And that's the thing. Rising channels are bearish patterns. And when they break to the downside, we have to pay attention because we could definitely move lower. And my short term bearish target here for this, uh, this bigger move has always been these levels down here at $30,500 and the big update that I can bring to you right now is that look at this we perfectly perfectly met my target here at this exact level this green support box and like I said this box is between 31,000 to um, 30, 30,500 and 30,500 was the lower end and look at this we perfectly perfectly came down to this level and the reason why I've been talking about this green box is because of first of all we can see clear confluence right here we saw previous support and also it is the bottom of this uh, rising channel and also the bottom of this rising wedge that we were looking at I readjusted these lines a little bit so it's not a wedge anymore it's more of a rising channel but the bottom of the rising wedge and the, the rising channel is right here this is why this has been my target all along and congratulations to everyone who took my short all the way up here from this uh, triangle I know that many of you did this I mean we're talking about thousands of people who took this short over on Bybit and made thousands and thousands of dollars um, in this move here. I'm very happy that you guys are making significant gains right now. For example, Hans here, he made 75% so far by shorting according to my trade signal. And this guy says, congratulations to 200,000 followers. Thanks for your recent trade made 51% profits. And this guy also shorted made 0.1 Bitcoin according to my analysis. And this guy made $3,500 by shorting Bitcoin according to my videos. I am so happy to see that all of you guys are making significant gains over on Bybit by following my videos here. And remember, if you want to get this $600 bonus on Bybit that they released today. So if you want to trade Bitcoin on Bybit, just click this link and then you copy paste this code, jackpot. And then you go up here to promotions, you click rewards hub. And down here under the voucher code, you just put in jackpot and then you click redeem. This is a very, very limited bonus. So go down below this video right now and click the link, sign up before the bonus is over. When you click read more here, you find all of the important information that you have to know about this bonus. All right, let's talk about the Bitcoin price here and the fact that we are going down in this uh, broadening wedge or, ascend, uh, or descending channel. And first of all, you can clearly see that these support and resistance lines are clearly respected here. And uh, look at this. 
in my live stream earlier today, I told you guys that we were in this uh, wedge, and look at this, we came up and perfectly met, or we perfectly reached the uh, the resistance, and then we came back down again and bounced off support, which further just confirms the support and resistance and the fact that we are in this wedge here. This is just technical analysis working exactly as you would expect, uh, support and resistance getting um, getting respected. Look at this, we're getting a small bounce here. Uh, we have three big wicks coming down in these levels, down here at $30,300 approximately, indicating that the bulls seem to be stepping in here. The question is, of course, are we going to go up here or are we going to continue to roll over? And let's talk about this. So first of all, Something that is very interesting is that we are seeing a lot of volume coming in here. Look at this. A huge volume spike um, in this level. This is very good for the bulls. It means that the bulls are coming in here in a very, very strong way. So look at this. Um, this is the level I've been talking so much about. It is the $30,000 level approximately. Uh, it is the uh, target out of this, um, this upper trending channel that I was showing you. And... Um, Basically, we are seeing a lot of volume coming in at this exact level. We know it's a very, very important previous support because of previous support and resistance, right? You have pre previous support right there. And essentially, I think that this is a good sign showing us that in the immediate short term, the bulls are truly stepping in. There's something else that we can see, and that is the fact that if we go to the one hour here, we are getting a bullish divergence. Look at this. This right here is a bullish divergence in the RSI on the one hour time frame. And here we have, so we have a low and a lower low in the price, but in the uh, RSI, we're seeing the opposite here. We are seeing a low and a higher low. So this is basically called a bullish divergence, telling us that the bears could potentially be losing uh, momentum here, losing steam. I wouldn't say that this bullish divergence is um, confirmed just yet. I would love to see uh, Bitcoin break above $33,000 here and close a uh, one hour candle above 33,000. If we see this, then in my opinion, it is actually quite likely that we might even be able to break through this resistance. And this is my next major trade. Look at this. If we were to break through this resistance, then I believe we are going to see a significant uh, rebound here in the, in the short term at least. And in that case, I think we should be targeting these levels right here. Let me show you, we have some previous resistance right there, previous support from all the way back here. You have some, uh, let me show you. So we have support and support right there, some support right there. This is a very, very important level. It is the $37,000 level approximately. So if we were to break resistance and if we do see the bullish scenario play out, then I'm seeing a trade of 8% up here. Let's put a, um, a a stop loss at maybe 2%. So that's a 8 to 2 so this is an 8% gain against a 2% risk. And if you want to trade this over on Bybit, just go down below this video right now and sign up. Get this $600 bonus because the nice thing about this bonus is that if you take this $600 bonus, you can use this for a free trade. So basically, you go down below this video, you click the link, you take this voucher code, you put it into Bybit, you deposit Bitcoin, and when you have made your first deposit, you will get a bonus, and you can take this bonus on a free trade. You don't have to risk your own money. You can actually make one free trade with this bonus, and whatever profits you get from this trade, you can withdraw. That's why I suggest everyone to go over to Bybit right now and take part of this massive bonus because it's a risk free free trade waiting for you to happen. All right, but that's the bullish scenario. What about the bearish scenario? If we do see a rejection off of this resistance, then obviously this is going to lead to yet another roll over here. And this could take us all the way down to the support um, and retest the support once again here. And this could take us all the way down to 27,000 here. But of course, before we break down to 27,000, we have to break this major, major green support box. And for me, I am um, not looking to make any short positions here unless we do break the green support box. If we break these levels here, I do think that another short signal could be entering into our, um, our field of vision here because you can clearly see how this previous support is very, very important, right? So breaking these levels could definitely lead to a major um, sell-off. Let's take a look at where this major sell-off could uh, take us. And uh, for this, I'm going to bring out the um, VPVR. 
this indicator can show us exactly where the biggest point of support are. So for example, this point here is the biggest point of support where we are currently. It is up at 31,000. This is the, the level which is currently getting uh, making Bitcoin bounce here. If we were to break 31,000 here, you can see that there is a big gap here all the way down to 29,000. So if we break uh, 31,000 with a decisive break, then in my opinion, we are most likely going to see a dump of approximately 6% all the way down to 29,000 at the very least. But we can go lower than this. Um, I think that 29,000 is not the biggest point of support. The biggest one is actually down here at 27,000 or 26 point, um, yeah, let's say 27,000. So if we break here, you can see that we could easily go down to 13, 14%. Um, for Bitcoin here and this could be a interesting short position but I do think that we have to break um, 31,000 but we also have to break these levels here 30,000 or 30,100 30, dollars but I gotta agree but I have to admit that I don't really feel so confident shorting here this is something we can revisit. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say that this is a short signal just yet. I need more confluence here, more confirmation. But this is something we could entertain, where we get a um, short position down at 10% profit against a 2% uh, loss, approximately. This is something we can think about. If I do something interesting, uh, play out here, I can update you guys on Twitter. You can go and follow me on Twitter. I have a link down below. Um, I will make sure to update you guys if this plays out. What about Ethereum? Well, Ethereum is currently dumping here after we did see a breakdown. Uh, let me just show you the 4-hour ribbon. You can see here that we clearly broke the 4-hour ribbon. We even got a 4-hour four four close below the ribbon here. So Ethereum is uh, bearish here, obviously, ever since this sell signal right there when we broke this um, key, key level. Uh, so Ethereum is now um, battling against the $1,000 level, um, currently at $1,000 exactly. Looks like we might see um, the bulls stepping in here. We did see a dump all the way down to $900 approximately. The bulls are stepping in. Uh, let's see if we can get a rebound here, maybe to retest the 4-hour ribbon. If we get a rejection of the 4-hour ribbon here, then in my opinion, it is very, very likely that Ethereum is going to roll over into a bigger bear trend here in the coming weeks. Going over to Ethereum against Bitcoin, you can see that Ethereum has still um, formed, I mean, we can see this bull flag here, right? Look at this. This this actually looks like a bull flag and this is still intact. It is still there, which means that Ethereum could still be, even if Ethereum is looking um, weak against the dollar, it is still looking actually strong against Bitcoin and we could still see Ethereum outperform Bitcoin in the next few weeks if we see a break above this level. But I'm not touching this yet, guys. I'm not touching this yet only if we break this very, very key level. Why? Because of previous resistance right there, previous resistance right there, previous support all the way back there, and previous resistance right there. This level is one of the most important levels I've seen in Ethereum against Bitcoin before, and that's why we have to pay attention. If we break this level, I think that Ethereum is going to have a massive pump against Bitcoin, and in that case, we, we wanna make sure that we can take advantage of that. But so far, this has not happened. And let me just go back to Ethereum here against the uh, the US dollar chart. I just wanna zoom out a little bit and show you the fact that um, Ethereum is right now, uh, I mean, we were talking about this cup and handle, right? Because we do have uh, potentially a neckline right there. And this could potentially be this massive cup and handle pattern. Right now, we did get rejected by the neckline and we are correcting. So actually, this could look quite nicely um, for a big ha handle to get formed here. And this could lead to a massive breakout for Ethereum uh, in this big cup and handle. If this happens, then we might see one of the biggest trades for Ethereum that we've ever seen before. This could be a massive opportunity for us to make money in the short term. Uh, but of course, it, it's not going to happen in the next few days. But in the next few weeks or something, this could play out. And the best place to trade Ethereum against the US dollar by far is over on Bybit. And you can take this $600 bonus to trade Ethereum or Bitcoin, whatever you choose. The only thing you need to do is click this link, take this code jackpot and submit this code onto Bybit and then make your first initial deposit. If you go down below this video, you will find all of the information that is necessary for you to get this bonus ASAP. And if you wanna watch the most important and most amazing Bybit tutorial on the planet, just go over to my channel and click this video right now. You have also the link down below in the description and in the pinned comments. 
And a quick update on the Bitcoin dominance is that we're still above this critical support, this green support box. So the altcoin season is nowhere close to happening right now. If we break this green support box, then I think a altcoin season is going to uh, be huge and imminent, but it is not going to happen right now. Uh, we could potentially see something getting formed here. We do have a resistance right here, and we could potentially maybe do something like this. Could potentially be some kind of a falling uh, wedge here. Um, not very beautiful, not very beautiful. If this breaks to the upside, this could be bad news for altcoins. This could indicate that we're gonna see something like this, just like we saw last time here. So this could be a bad sign, a bad scenario for altcoins. Obviously, if we break the support, we could potentially see the altcoin season start. But right now, I am still sitting in Bitcoin. I am not touching altcoins just yet. There is no reason to jump into altcoins unless we do see the confirmation of, of an altcoin season, right? And by the way, guys, uh, this is the S&P 500. I just want to bring you some sad news, and that is the fact that the S&P 500 is breaking into all-time highs um, and is breaking up right now while the Bitcoin price is breaking down. So that's, of course, the opposite of we, what we want to see. It's sad when Bitcoin goes down as the S&P uh, goes up because we want to have the, uh, the opposite correlation, right? But I think that this is just temporary. We're seeing so much stimulus right now. They're just pumping these markets like crazy. And uh, then again, Bitcoin has been going up like four or five times the price in the past few months, while the S&P has not do done anything even remotely close to that. Uh, I mean, of course, if you if you measure from the exact bottom here, the S&P is up 70% in uh, 200 days. But... But, but, if you go over to uh, Bitcoin, let me just uh, blow your mind a little bit here. If you go back to Bitcoin and take a look at from the Corona dump, so basically the lowest point here, Bitcoin is up 940% in uh, 300 days. So, yeah, I mean, we, we can be sad and weep about the fact that we're seeing Bitcoin going down and the S&P going up, but just zoom out a little bit. Bitcoin is completely exploding right now. And let's just be grateful for what we have. Bitcoin is still above 30,000. Obviously, it can change any minute, but we're still above 30,000. And everyone who wanted to buy Bitcoin at 40,000 but thought it was too expensive, I mean, you probably, you were begging for lower prices. Well, here you go. Now we have lower prices. So what are you gonna do about it? What are you doing about this? Is Bitcoin on a discount or not? You would, you always want to buy the dip. You don't want to buy the highs. That's why you never want to buy Bitcoin after a huge pump like this. If you always buy when Bitcoin is dumping, then uh, then over time, your average buy-in will be a little bit better. For investment purposes, if you want to buy for the 10 years down the line, try to dollar cost average at all times, buy weekly or daily, and whenever Bitcoin dumps 20%, buy a little bit of extra. You always want to have some extra cash on hand that you can push in when Bitcoin dumps. And another big shout out here to Nicholas who shorted the breakout according to my videos and he made 120% gains according to uh, my trade signal. And if you want to get these trade signals for free, just subscribe to my channel down below. And if you want to learn how to trade Bitcoin profitably over on Bybit, just watch my Bybit tutorial right there. Click it right now and I'll see you guys tomorrow.